What's up, fellow Clashers? It's Apollyon here, coming to you with the uh, yeah, it's the latest Clan War recap. And before we get into this, it was a random war that we went against. But uh, just as far as the state of Rising right now, uh, appreciate everybody's apps that are coming in, and uh, you know, time that you guys take, and thanks for that, and f you know, just for your enthusiasm to join the WHF family. Uh, right, right now, and probably going forward, we're not accepting any more. Or Town Hall 8. Uh, you know, the game is, is changing. Everything's moving up to, uh, you know, even 9 is, it's not dying at all. It's still very strong, but it's, it, it's you know, the game at where it's at is becoming Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 11 uh, with a lot of fun still at Town Hall 9. So we are looking for still some really good Town Hall 9s. We're looking for people with uh, at least 15, 15 heroes. But the catch is, um, if you have max expos, we're looking for at least 20, 20. So uh, just keep that in mind. Uh, we're trying to keep the offense balanced with your defense. If you have a really super high max Town Hall 9, but you got 15 15 heroes or 10 10 heroes or something like that it's not something that we're looking for you're going to be all the way on the top uh, of the uh, you know of the war and uh, you're going to have to hit some pretty tough bases and with uh, you know lower heroes or mid mid level heroes it's really tough to do so anyway um Town Hall 10s, we're looking for them in Rising. We're, they're looking for them in WHF, I think, still, and uh, WHF 2. So go to the powerbanging, powerbanggaming.com slash apply. Go ahead and get in. We'll get you into the right clan, but we are looking for Town Hall 10s and still looking for some good Town Hall 9s. All right. That being said, uh, let's go ahead and jump into the war recap. It was a random matchup, 40 v 40, and uh, it was interesting. Uh, I mean, they had some their, their town hall nines were pretty heavy all the way down to the bottom, and um, we don't have heavy town hall nines at the bottom. But we had uh, two town hall 11s, or one town hall 11, one uh, 10.5, and two town hall 10s to their five town hall 10s. So I don't even know who's mismatched in that typo i guess i don't know maybe we have a little advantage up top that way and then um pretty even all the way with the town hall nines except for the fact that they had max expos i think on their lowest town hall nine uh whereas we don't have even our mid guys don't have max town uh expos so little mismatch there but we'll go ahead and jump in to see some of these attacks check them out and uh i think they got a lot of cool different styles so really like to watch this war it was random but they had some good bases for us to hit and um yeah so let's go ahead and jump right into it All right, so the first thing we're going to show is just they are a level 11 clan from uh, Mexico. So uh, you can check out their stats right there. Uh, I think you saw what they did with us. Uh, struggled a little bit on the three stars. Um, had a lot more two stars in theirs, and they struggled with us all the way from the top down. So, uh, But uh, we'll definitely show what they did since they used most of their attacks. So uh, we'll go ahead and jump into some of ours. I'm not going to really focus on too much of our top attacks. Our Town Hall uh, 11s dip down to the Town Hall 10s. Some of the Town Hall 10s dip down to the 9s. Uh, and um, yeah, and some of their, their 10s were 9.5s. So still good attacks, but we'll go ahead and start on uh, the, at least the 9.5s. So let's go ahead and check out number 7. Enver is going to go ahead and take this base with a um, cold-blooded Laloon. Going kind of old school. Still works. Four hounds, one in Max Hound in the Clan Castle. And that level four uh, Lava Hound is so beefy now with that latest upgrade. So we've got cold-blooded, which means just one golem. And uh, using some wizards on the funneling is a very a good entry. Seeing that it doesn't need two golems, not a lot of point defense is hitting that golem. Sends a test wall breaker down there. And uh, just waiting for these wizards to come and do their funneling. He wants to make sure that the kill squad gets in all the way to that uh, core to uh, take out that Archer Queen, Dirty Archer Queen, and at least that air defense that's uh, right by the Archer Queen. So try not to put... Um, 
uh, an air defense in your queen compartment. It just makes a la loon so much easier. Drops double poison for these uh, loons and dragon in the clan castle. Has to take care of that before he can deploy his his uh, lava hounds. So this queen has got to take care of that and also take care of this last air defense, which she uses her ability. A lot of point defenses on her. I believe that the expos are set to ground, which also makes this uh, that much easier to go ahead and hit with a la loon. And uh, we'll go ahead and send the Lava Hounds in there. Rages up these loons. Needs to get them through. Push past that sweeper. And now we've got uh, a couple more Lava Hounds going up from the uh, 6 and from the 9 o'clock compartment. Some more back-end loons going to take out that cannon up there. Everything's reconvening. They really need to get to that air defense. Still has two more Rages, though. Um, and uh, those... Uh, that Lava Hound will pop just in time, and he still has two more Lava Hounds to tank for uh, these air defenses, but has plenty of loons to go ahead and take care of that. So he uses that uh, second, or I'm sorry, the third Rage there, and they're going to go ahead and get to that air defense. And now there's just a few Teslas, uh, air, uh, or a few Archer Towers, and a, a Wizard Tower for splash damage, but that Expo is a sitting duck because it is pointed to the ground, so that's just going to be... Uh, something that these loons have to take care of. So, all right. So they're making their way through the Tesla. I think we still have um, a Lava Hound up. So, all right. So we're, we're finishing the last defense. We've got uh, everything done. We're going to go ahead and do the cleanup. We've got Wizards cleaning up from the bottom. We've got Lava Pups that are cleaned up all over the place. And we still have an Unbroken Hound. And we get the three. All right, so great, great attack, great way to start us off. I'm going to restart my video card here and uh, see if I can get a little bit better. I'm dropping some frames here, so I'll be right back. Okay, so that was a great first attack. Let's go ahead and check out uh, Jake taking care of their new 9.5 with HGHB. And uh, he uses the Archer Queen for cleanup here. Um, he does a really, really nice job with his hogs. This was probably one of the better HGHBs you can watch as far as um, reacting to what's happening with your uh with your units, making sure they're taken care of and not dying off and, uh, you know, reacting with, with hogs to go ahead and take out defenses and, and push the path of your kill squad there where you want them to go. So he's got baby drags going in for the funneling here, sends his giants in from the top with the healer. And uh, he's just going to wait till that wall is almost broken up and then he's going to drop his king and uh, bowlers right behind it. And they really have nowhere else to go but into this main compartment. But then I think they stray a little bit, if I'm not mistaken. But we'll, we'll see what happens. Okay, so he sends his hogs in there. Look at the bowlers starting to walk down to that... Uh, um, that mortar but he goes and takes care of that with hogs and that really refocuses them back into that core is very very nicely done and um he's, he's dealing with a lava hound in the clan castle which is going to do absolutely nothing to this uh kill squad there is no uh troops that target air just bowlers king and uh um, and giants, so everything's going great. He sends in hogs from the top, just a couple, like three or four, uh, that, that are going to go ahead and take care of so much of this base and make sure that these bowlers get focused and start walking in with the rest of the kill squad. Just very, very nicely done. Um, I mean, that's that, that's how he's able to take this 9.5 out. It's just such a, a really good hit. And, um, you know, he's got the king is still with ability uh, and almost full health. He's got a queen that he hasn't even dropped yet. He's got wizards folk, uh, funneling up from the top. He can start using wizards from the top right uh, it, as soon as some of these defenses go. He drops a, a last bit of his hogs in there with a heal. Uh, and, uh, you know, you can't really ask for anything more than what's going on here. So he drops a wizard now from uh, two wizards up to the top right just to start that cleanup again. A bowler is walking in from the top left. And now as soon as these two defenses, you've got a Tesla and uh, Archer Tower go down. He can drop that queen in. There we go. And even if that hog did not take care of it, that queen would be able to use her ability, take out all the buildings around it, and take care of that Tesla too. So this base is completely toasted. 
just a really really nice hghb and for you guys, for those of you that think that jake just dropped his units down there and got the three star because hghb is so simple and so effective and op that is definitely not the the the, uh, the way it went down i was on um with him going through bit by bit of these of this attack where to come in from what to do what how many units to bring of each thing it was definitely calculated uh, all the stuff was there um, and um, not just dropped in and hoping that he got the three star. So just a really nice planning and really good uh, attack. So, okay, spoiler alert. You guys might want to close your ears if you don't know already, but Rob Stark gets killed again here. Rob Stark dies again. So we're going to go ahead and check out number 10. Sen hitting this with another HGHB, but instead of bringing a jump, he brings two rages, two heals, and uh, takes care of this base very, very efficiently. Has just a few uh, giants there to tank for these uh, for the baby dragon. Make sure he gets the funneling or she gets the funneling or whatever that baby dragon is, as well as that wizard there uh, on the top and bottom. Needs to go ahead and take care of all these trash buildings, which he's doing very, very nicely. Uh, doesn't need a jump because the, the compartments are pretty open. Uh, does use a wall breaker just to speed things up, or a couple wall breakers, I'm sorry. And then the rest of the giants will go ahead and reroute in to this uh, compartment nice tesla farm is going to get taken out really quick this they have nothing the kill squad has nowhere else to go but straight into here everything's rage giants rage king's rage queen is rage and we're just waiting for the healers to get raged and uh they're gonna get here rage right here there we go so uh they break through to that core compartment the lava hound is taken care of well it's busted it's not taken care of the pups need to get taken care of but they're not doing too much damage with uh, the help of these healers um drops that uh, second rage down there in the core and the queen decides to split off i don't think that's a good idea uh, that's going to be pretty much uh, game over for her as soon as she walks into that uh, wizard tower range so they are uh, going to use the ability up uh up there or down there i'm sorry and uh tri trip a giant bomb and then get some skellies that's going to de delay her from taking out that wizard tower and that's going to take her out so uh we've got hogs going in from the two o'clock or uh, one o'clock compartment long compartment uh semi not really a troll tesla just a outside tr uh, tesla kind of to stop the uh hghb uh but uh just not really uh, effective if you don't come in from the noon compartment so anyway we've got a healer on a king we got uh giants still tanking a few point defenses or splash damage these hogs are going to go ahead and help them out without any issue whatsoever king is getting healed back almost up to full drops that last heal not even necessary but why not um, when you crush a base that much you can do what you need to so we're going to go ahead and speed things up has tons of hogs for the cleanup and uh, even has a few giants and wizard and uh, the king which is getting overly healed so really really nice attack just wanted to show a different version of the HGHB spell composition okay let's look at one of my favorite attacks i have a couple favorite attacks and that is the queen walk valo and then this one right here which is a gobo la loon so we're gonna go ahead and check this out and now the weird thing is it's such an effective attack that he doesn't even get all of the arch the air defenses that he needs to but he cleans so much of the base with the kill squad that it really doesn't hurt him at all now look at all the wizard towers there's a wizard tower farm and that three o'clock compartment or couple compartments uh he really needs to get the clan castle the queen and those two air defenses going to drop the bowlers in, in just a little bit drops a rage drops a poison and uh, gets that clan castle very nice runway poison too just very nicely done all minions they're all going to die to that poison the queen decides to walk with these bowlers which is just that's what destroys getting that second air defense but the on the flip side of that she's going to take out all of these defenses the the mortar the uh wizard tower all three wizard towers and the key to this is normally these all those loons would get stuck on those air defenses uh, or uh, towards these air defenses with those wizard towers and just take a beating trying to get there and being ping pong from defense to defense but you'll see what happens once uh the queen takes out all these the bowlers even decide to keep her company and walk around the park 
Um, there's a Tesla farm on that uh, left compartment or the uh, around the 8 o'clock and these bullers are going to go ahead and try to take it out but uh, they're, they're running low. But if you look at this, the Lava Hound has dropped in with the haste. That uh, Those loons get there straight into that air defense. There is no time wasted. So that's what makes this effective with only bringing a couple of uh, Lava Hounds is that they're so quick to get to these air defenses that it really doesn't make a difference. Drops an early rage, but he wants to push through because there are no more Lava Hounds to tank. You only use two and uh, you've got just uh, too many loons to uh, be taken out by that air defense. I think he has like 10 or 12 loons to, to go ahead and go against that. Same thing with this Tesla. It's just going to go. It's a bad, bad story. It's a tragic one. We don't like to talk about it because, uh, yeah, it's spoiler alert. So they, they die. So the, the loons, I think he's got about seven or eight loons left over, cleaning up slowly, but uh, you know what? Slowly but surely, it wins the race. Three stars is three stars. Just a very, very nice um, uh, use of spells there as well. All right, number 13, we're going to check out another HGHB, but it's going to have a, a Barbarian King walk. So we're, we're kind of mixing things up a little bit. BK walk on the top left and HGHB for the rest. And again, another one where he gets so much value from the hogs. You'll see, I think, three, three or four hogs that just make it all clear out the entire left-hand side of the base uh, with that king walking. Just a great... I don't know if you... I'm pretty sure he wanted the king to walk there. Um, that's, that's by structure. So he's going to go get his... his um, uh, giants in there as well as the queen and bowlers so they're going to take out the kill the, uh, the the core and the clan castle and uh, be standing under heels but this king watch this the, this one hog here on the the nine o'clock compartment on the archer tower i think there's one or two hogs and just check out the the value he gets from these things this is going to jump down he sends another hog just to supplement it and it is going to go ahead and take out the cannon so it's already taken out the archer tower it's going to take out this cannon it's going to move down to the wizard tower all because this king is tanking for it uh, uses the king ability sends another hog just to again just to help they're going to run into the archer tower untouched then they're going to run into the uh, air defense untouched so that's four defenses and they haven't even taken a hit yet uh, they're going to move into they finally get hit by this tesla if that king was down a little bit quicker they wouldn't even get hit by the tesla so i mean just they clean out the entire left hand side bottom uh, top and bottom of this base uh, just awesome awesome use of hogs great timing and uh, I mean, also saving the king too, because that king is almost back up to full health again. Queen still hasn't even used her ability, hasn't needed to use a rage, maybe forgot it, or just didn't even need to use the rage for his kill squad. So he rages those hogs up, knows there's no giant bombs there. Um, the queen is tripping on on those and uh, taking it in the face for the team. Uses the ability, but this base was completely crushed. Just such a well thought out, uh, executed plan. Like to see the variation of the HGHB with the the barbarian king walk. So uh, I mean, it just worked out great. And you seven healers, so using the four on the kill squad and the three on the king just worked out fantastic. Since we like uh, walk so much, we're gonna go check out number fifteen, and we're gonna look at Foghorn hitting this with a queen walk go bo ho. So. Kind of the old school thing where we use golems and um, and hogs, but we're throwing in bowlers in the middle there. And I, I'm, I'm trying to think if this is the one where I, I just thought that the raid was over because I thought it was not going well at all. But uh, it's such a powerful attack. Funneling is being done here. I'm not sure if he gets a wall breaker fail of all his wall breakers. Um, or if they, they finally got in there, but uh, he's using the the bowlers, and I th I'm I'm pretty sure they go for a walk here, if I'm not mistaken. I'll have to, to to watch this one again with you all and try to comment. So two of them go walking here. Queen is still doing her thing, but uh, trip to clan castle, and I don't understand how. I think it's the poison that takes care of this clan castle because there's nothing. Oh, there's a wizard in there. That's what took care of. It. I was wondering what took care of the clan castle, the baby dragon, and. 
everything that was in air. But uh, we've got the queen doing queen on queen action. And I think the friendly queen just gets that last shot in but then dies herself so we've got healers switching on here we've got just a few bowlers using that jump with the golem take out that core the king is still doing his thing but does not have hardly any more health and has already used the ability to have still one rage and one heal and not too many hogs left so at this point it's not looking fantastic it's looking good but uh, he's got to make these uh, these units stretch. They've still got the expo to take care of, which is targeted on that golem, which is great. We've got the troll Tesla up top that's frying giants. And um, then we've got the bowlers that are just taking out the rest of these defenses. So here are bowlers under hero, bowlers under rage. That king is getting healed back up to full. Giant versus Tesla. Giant loses. So we've got hog riders coming in from the top or from the bottom to the top, and they take it out because they can jump, and uh, that's what it's all about. It's all about jumping. We do have a pesky uh, builder hut in the corner, but uh, I think the bowlers might go ahead and take care of that. I'm not sure who's going to take care of it. Um, maybe nobody will take care of it. They'll just completely miss it. There we go. So they're finally going to send in the, like, the entire kill squad or what's left of it to take care of that, and we've got another bowler hut. So... Guys, make sure you don't do what I do. Just bring stuff for the builder huts. Just a couple of archers. They will take care of that just so you don't run out of time. It was such a nice attack. No reason to uh, lose because of that. All right, let's check out about four or five more. And we're going to jump down to number 18, Stoned Go Boho from uh, uh, Foghorn with a six-pack on this war. Bringing in three golems this time with a very similar type of attack, but we haven't seen uh, hardly any uh, stoned attacks. Actually, is it there's is there any hog riders in here? I'm not sure there's any. I might have misspoke there. I don't think it's I don't think it's stone go bow ho. I think it's just stone go bow. So there we go. We got it with a queen walk. Um, that's what's up here. A queen walk stone bow. So queen is doing her thing she's uh she's supposed to reroute in there that was what was supposed to be a queen charge but uh, it did not go as planned uh so we improvise so rage up to take care of that queen didn't even need to drop a poison in there and uh, i don't know how he's going to trip the clan castle i don't remember this one specifically he's already got funneling troops on the the top left and he's sending in the golems on the bottom or i'm sorry the six o'clock compartment but I still don't think we've tripped the clan castle yet. So there we go. Three baby dragons. Guys, don't put three baby dragons in your clan castle. It negates the, the rage completely. And that poison is ticking, them away, ticking away on them. Um, the queen doesn't even have to use her ability. Then finally does just at the very, very end. Um, it's just not efficient. So those golems are struggling to get in there. Uses another max golem drops in with a jump and the bowlers. Kind of like a variation of the bovalanche. Uh, we've got the king going in there, raging up and taking care of that expo. We've got three, I think, still full golems. I haven't broken into golemites. And we've got the bowlers kind of walking around the base. But that's pro probably exactly what he wants them to do. Is uh, He wants the king and the, the golems to go ahead and take care of these defenses. Um, I, he probably did want the bowlers actually to walk in there. But they're doing their thing up top. They got this stuff on lockdown. They know what's up. And uh, they're taking out a lot of these trash buildings. Queen loses her healers. Uh, but, you know, there's hardly any defenses left. And we still have three, two golems that are up. So that uh, mortar is not going to be a friend to uh, those bowlers. But they do finally take it out. We've got one full golem and two golemites. So now it's up to these golems to be the heroes and tank for these uh, four-point defenses, which is a lot. Uh, max archer towers and max teslas. And then uses the rage to push them through. They need to get through that wall. And uh, time is running out here. They also want to make sure they take care of these defenses and give you know hit them as hard as they possibly can. The golem just busts through that wall like the Kool-Aid man. Uh, if you guys know who that is, hopefully you do. And then drops in very nice poison. Saves that poison all the way for those skelly traps. Could have almost uh, made or broke the, the raid there. But uh, with the help of the queen and bowlers, they take out that uh that last uh, defense with the photo finish really really close attack love to watch it all right number 19 um cold-blooded go vaho 
because I don't think we've really watched any Govajos yet, and it's still such a powerful attack. Um, don't think we, yeah, I don't think we used any bowlers in here. I think there's Valks in the clan castle, so we've got a Golem going, doing his thing, tanking for the wizards and everything else that needs to be funneled. Queen is doing her own funneling. Very nice use of que the queen, just knowing where she's going to go and, uh, you know, dropping her so early. Dropping those wizards to their death. They do have to take out that uh, uh, army camp, which they do. Uh, they have their instructions. And uh, now we've got a really kind of annoying clan castle for Valkyries. Fortunately, that queen is going to go ahead and jump in there. Notice how he drops the jump and the, the heal because he knows those loons are going to drop some serious bombs on their head, which they do. But they're standing in heels, so they live through it. Uh, he hits a double giant bomb in there and does not supplement them with a heal. So they're kind of running low on health. But he's got hogs coming up from the 3 o'clock compartment while that king was tanking for him. Drops the first uh, heal or the second heal in there for those hogs. And uh, the Valkyries are just about dead. So uh, he does have six more hogs. So it's very hog heavy here. It's a hog heavy attack. And still, uh, still has that last uh, heal. So uh, with only these few defenses left, there's going to be absolutely no issue for them to take care of those. Not, not even any spring traps in those compartments. So we'll go ahead and speed things up as they take care of this. There is a little golemite that's going to punch through that wall for the rest of his life. Uh, or switch to another wall and punch through it. He's really never going to make it through. So, Or he does. But he cheats. He gets help from the queen. That's why. So let's make that clear. All right, four more attacks and then we're done. Speed things up a little bit. 22, we're going to watch a queen walk, cold-blooded Govaho, my, one of my favorite attacks here. I just love the composition and everything. It's the one I use. I, I, this is just a fantastic attack. Only has to use three healers because his queen is never going to be in the range of two-point defenses for very long. I think just for only a couple seconds when as soon as he wa she walks into here. But she will go ahead and take out that archer tower pretty quick, quickly and get help from that uh, hog uh, to go ahead and and uh, clear that clan castle and uh, trigger that sends the queen standing in rage and uh the, fortunately the, that uh clan castle does take the effect of the poison even after it walks through but uh, handles those wizards and witch in there in that clan castle which could be problematic if she didn't drop if he didn't drop those poisons then we've got valks coming in from the bottom one valk or a couple three valks to go ahead and help out that golem in there and then we drop the king and or the rest of the valks who they look at they want to run but oh they that one valk goes just starts doing her own thing and she's going to die a horrible terrible expo-ish death even though the hogs are going to come in and try to save her they don't so we've got um a heel going in the core a jump going in to push them through take out that enemy king the uh enemy queen is already down and uh We've just got to watch the hogs now as they go ahead and supplement this attack. Uh, has no more spells left, and he's got a Tesla farm right there that they have to, but he's got tons of Valkyries in that core in the top left that uh, are running through the base pretty easily, taking a giant bomb to the face, which is never good. It just ruins their makeup. Uh, it's, it's horrible on it. I mean, it really is. But uh, they're going to go ahead and take out a couple more of these defenses. They only have... Uh, two more point defenses and one splash damage, which is unfortunately uh, for the base. It's on the golem, which is never going to do anything. So these Valkyries finally catch a breather, and uh, they don't have to go ahead and get hit uh, with uh, any of the defenses as the golem is doing that for them. So the queen's going to go ahead and take out that wizard tower. The golem finally breaks, and then uh, we've got another set of minions and archers coming down from the top. Uh, that uh, those minions do not make it very far from that air bomb but the queen she's uh, gonna go ahead and come around from the side or from the top side and take out the rest of the base so v cool cool attack to watch let's 
jump all the way down to number 33. I wish I could have shown everybody's. We had some such great attacks, but it just duplicated the strategies. We're going to do a mass Valk here, um, and, and this is a, a perfect runway poison. This is exactly how you use poison effectively. So he's going to go ahead and get the, um, the, the lure here. It brings, I think, at least four hogs, maybe five. That's the key to the success of this raid. So he's got that. Now look at the runway poison here. He drops one uh, and then drops another. There we go. And they've got to walk all the way through the entire poison to uh, in order to get to that king just great placement great timing everything was really good with it and uh that king is just tanking uh just for that one um um the one cannon and you know with this many valks i think there was 18 plus valks in there it's going to be no problem for them to wreck this base there is a couple minions they just they, they i think they're probably having their coffee break or something they you know but they're out now they will get taken out by this queen and i think there's one more minion left all the way in the top left that's a little bit pesky but um you know as soon even if he does end up taking out those valks he's going to run into a very unhappy queen with that uh, look at, we've got level t uh, 12, level 12 royals, and we're taking a max expo base out. Not a max base, but uh, they got max Teslas, max uh, max expos. I mean, it's just a, such a great attack here. So uh, we really don't have anything else that's going to take out this minion. So I don't know what how we make it here. So I guess the, the heals are keeping these Valkyries alive. We do have some wizards that are going to be heroes if they can just bust through this the level 8 wall. Drops the second heal there and still has one more for that core. And as soon as they get in, uh, they're going to beeline right for those minions. Uh, as soon as they get aggro, drops the other wizard for cleanup up top. Uh, on that top left, there we go. They finally get that last minion down, and then we've got some hogs that are going to go ahead and help these Valkyries come through this base. I think that heal could have probably been dropped a little bit lower into that core, but uh, you know what? It gets the job done. We do have some heavy um, uh, trash buildings like the Clan Castle, the Town Hall, Dark Elixir Storage. You've got a lot of buildings there that are, have heavy hit points, so it's not the defenses that are so bad. It's They've got to clear out all of those heavy buildings. They do that, and and we still have a couple more heavy buildings, but with the help of these wizards and hogs, they are um, successful. Two more, and then we're done. Uh, number 37 wanted to show a low-level uh, base getting hit with HGHB with uh, 10, 11 heroes. Still, do they? Yeah, so this is one of the only bases that didn't have max uh, expos. Still has level one, and it's one of their lowest town hall nines. So, um, yeah, it's just a crazy matchup that we had. We, we just look how much DPS we've got. Four, five point defenses hitting these poor uh, giants right in the face. And uh, that, I think that queen might go ahead and step up and start picking on them too. So there is just so much DPS that's coming in on them. He does have the baby dragons and the wizards funneling on the top right and the top left. And then finally drops the king and queen in there. But once they get in there, they're going to go ahead and exact their revenge because we've got giants coming in, we've got bowlers coming in, and uh, we've got the healers that are coming in. We've got two rages of, of which he could have dropped a little bit ago. Drops that runway poison uh, uh, in the perfect place, but just a little early. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Those bowlers are under rage. are going to go ahead and wipe that out super, super quick. And uh, then they're just going to go ahead and bust through this wall like, uh, like the Hulk. Um, the the king and giant smash so sends the lone hog in there just to go ahead and help them to uh friendly a friendly nudge to push them through the the a second rage kicks in so these healers heal those bowlers all the way back up to full we've got a tesla farm up in the top left at the nine o'clock compartment we've got hogs coming in at the three o'clock to go ahead and help those bowlers don't know if they're going to be there on time because that last bowler is finally going to go down, but he does have a second heal, that last heal, and uh, he's going to heal these these um, hogs to push them through there. Has tons and tons of hogs left, and all the defenses are down. Swag heal. We didn't even use that last heal. And there we go. We do have a builder hut in the corner, and we've got that heal that was not used. All right, last one. Number 40, 
Fi our only Town Hall 8 attack. So we've got a uh, really funky base here. So we're going to do a go-ho, old school go-ho. Uh, we're going to, I didn't get a chance to watch the whole attack, so I don't even know what's in the clan castle. I'm guessing hogs, but it could be bowlers. Who knows? So he drops the uh, hogs in there to take out that defense as well as grab the clan castle lure. He's got two poisons to deal with it, and he's got a, a cold, uh, not a cold blooded, a shattered entry, so he's got two golems going in here. He does unfortunately send that golem to its death. Uh, because it's going to be taking uh, hits from the minions. I don't think the, the loons are going to get all the way down to him, though. No, they don't. So that's good. Well, uh, He's going pretty low on health, but then he's got a second uh, backup golem to go ahead and take out uh, the rest of this base uh, with these wizards and everything else. So that will they'll kind of switch positions. That's that the other golem still didn't break yet, though, so that's good. He'll go ahead and send a couple hogs in here just to take out that Tesla and reroute the golem. We've got uh, wall breakers going in on that first compartment, and it's just very methodical. It's got other wall breakers that are coming in pretty much untouched. They'll go ahead and open up that second compartment. Unfortunately, the wizards, silly wizards, you guys are not the tanks. There, you got to wait till the golem get in there. Go, gets in there, rages up that kill squad with uh, the king, golems, and wizards. They're going to go ahead and do some damage to these archer towers. And he still has 15 hogs and probably five more in the clan castle to go ahead and take out the rest of the space. I didn't see any giant bombs getting hit yet, so uh, any triggered. So we've got to be patient on that. He still has six more hogs left over here. So they're following the king, and we'll see where it is. The king goes down, but we still have a full golem up. And I still haven't seen any giant bombs get triggered. There we go. There's one. Is it two? No, it's just one. It's a single, and it gets uh, taken care of under. I don't know. I don't know where the other one, the other two are. So I'm sure we'll trigger them at some point in time. But uh, you know what? It's not going to matter because we get the three here. So it was a great attack and a great war swag heal. So again, great job to everybody that did the attacks. I wish I could show uh, show them all, but good job to WHF Rising. Uh, just left, I think, ten stars for the perfect war. If I'm not mistaken, what's 40? No, I'm sorry, five stars. One, 120 is the max. So really, really good uh, job to everybody there. We really had a good time. Uh, thanks to Caminos de GTO. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it too. And, um, you know, go ahead and practice these attacks. Get used to it. The, the, the compositions, the spells, the deployment, the placement, everything that goes into making those three stars. Practice it. Gets those, get those uh, six-star clan wars and practice those three-star attacks. Oh, and like, subscribe, share them with your clan members. And don't forget what I said about, uh, you know, that we're looking for some good Town Hall 9s, 10s, and possibly even 11s.